research and development manager, um, I concentrate on the projects that the company wants to do, so future projects. Our focus isn't on the project at the end of it, we're purely focused on the actual product. As an engineer, you, you, want to, you want to make things, you want to design things, you want to come up with new crazy inventions and that, that's what R&D is all about. Focused slightly, but you are looking at, uh, you've got no constraints. There's no, at the end of the day, if you can justify something, you can go for it, if there's a good business case behind it. It's exciting, it's the sexy side of engineering. It's not just, we've got a client that wants this and they need it by then. You know, that's a very important part of our, our business. But the real fun stuff is, you know, let's come up with some new ideas and let's work it through. So, as an engineer, it's what, what you strive for, really. It's, it's great, and the freedom as well. No two days are the same, basically. It's, uh, the company works at a very fast pace, even in the R&D section, so it's very varied, so you never get bored. The most important thing in this uh, industry is just being able to adapt to the fast pace and the new challenges that come through day and day. You know, they're, some of the best designers we've got aren't actually uh, degree educated. Those guys come up with some really good technology that you're bringing your knowledge from somewhere else. And then you know, you've got the crazy ideas, but you've got the, the practical guy as well. So, that, so that, that, that team works really well. You know, the main skills needed for the R&D uh, roles are you know, your, uh, conceptual design, sort of coming up with lots of different concepts. Most important things are the design teamed with the analytical skills when you're on your own because then you can really fly, whereas you don't have to, you know, you're not wasting time spreading things around. Hobby, uh, like tie boxing and motocross, it's, uh, I think it's really important to have a hobby. Like I say, I'm someone that doesn't switch off at, at the end of the day, so to have something I can just go and lose myself in is, is good. For youngsters trying to get into the, the sector, I, I, I believe uh, my, my path was good, um, but the thing I really struggled with was uh, experience. So it's, important to maybe do something like uh, summer placements, uh, um, apprenticeships, and then move on to do something like the, uh, the university afterwards. And if you've got the practical skills and the technical uh, knowledge behind you, you, you'll never be without a job. Fantastic.